continent is home to a unique country, one which has never been colonized. It's a land of breathtaking beauty and great human potential. Its rich fossil record draws researchers from across the world. Legend asserts that the Ark of the Covenant is hidden within its ancient architecture and that the Queen of Sheba once ruled there. This is a place of untold wonders, natural beauty, and rich history. This is Ethiopia. The greatest number and the oldest hominid fossils have come from Africa. Within that continent, Ethiopia shines as the country with the largest known group of early humans discovered so far. With fossils dating back almost 6 million years ago, Ethiopia can rightfully claim to be the cradle of mankind. Among these fossils is perhaps the world's best known relative of early humans. A 3.2 million year old female known to us as Lucy and in Ethiopia as Dunkanesh, meaning thou art beautiful. Ethiopia is a home to eight UNESCO World Heritage Sites, including Aksum, the Christian holy site of Lalibela, Gondar, and the Muslim holy city, Harar. These sites all belong to the portion of Ethiopia's historic past, covered in written documents dating back 3,000 years. Aksum, in the northern highlands, has roots extending back to the middle of the first millennium BC. Aksum was a truly cosmopolitan civilization, the first African civilization to become Christian, the minter of the first coins by indigenous culture, and the producer of the world's largest stone monuments, obelisks taller than their Egyptian counterparts. The Queen of Sheba is said to have had her palace here. According to tradition, she had a son with King Solomon, Minilik I who founded the Solomonic dynasty that was to reign over Ethiopia until 1974. Aksum is the holiest city of Ethiopia's Orthodox Christianity. According to deeply held beliefs, the Ark of the Covenant is cared for in a small chapel within the city's boundaries. Toward the end of Aksum's history, its faith and that of the nascent religion of Islam intertwined. Tradition relates how some of the Prophet Muhammad's earliest followers found refuge at the royal court in Aksum. A passage of appreciation in the Holy Quran acknowledges this support. About a day's drive from Aksum lies Lalibela. There, over 800 years ago, a series of underground churches were hand carved out of rock. Small in size, these holy places still host daily mass, testifying not only to the architectural skill of their creators, but to a deep and enduring faith. Ethiopia is also home to Lake Tana, the country's largest lake and the source of the Blue Nile. Located about 30 kilometers north of the lake, Gondar is also known as the home to Ethiopia's Kamala. A series of castles and magnificent churches can still be visited inside a large walled compound in the city center. In the southeast, the walled city of Harar is considered the fourth holiest city of Islam after Mecca Medina and Jerusalem. It is referred to as Madina Awaliya or City of Saints due to the density of holy shrines in the city. The long line of emperors that began in Aksum some 2000 years ago came to an end with his imperial majesty, Emperor Haile Selassie. His departure in 1974 marked the end of one of the world's longest reigning dynasties. 
Coincidentally, 1974 was also the year in which U.S. researchers discovered Lucy. Welcome to Ethiopia. Welcome home.